Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix. Hi, my name is Dawn Hyde. I'm a nurse here at James River Nursing and Rehab. Miss Beverly had asked me if I could share with you my story, kind of what it's like today, where we're at. I'm scheduled to work today. I'm supposed to clock in in five minutes, but here I sit in the parking lot trying to convince myself to go in. It's not that I don't like my job. On the contrary, I love it. Yet here I sit in the car trying to muster up the courage to go inside. Because you see, I know that today I will hold the hand of someone I love and watch them slip away. Every day that I go to work is like a war zone, a fight between life and death, between what's expected and what's rational, between what's mandated and what is necessary. I fight the depression that has overcome them, the loneliness that has set in, and the solitude that has encompassed their lives. I fight the sadness because they can't see their families, their fear of the unknown, and their fear that this disease will take them before they're ready. I fight the time constraints of people who demand each and every second of my day. I fight the burnout that comes with giving so much of yourself day in and day out. I fight the families who call and yell and scream or complain. But let's face it, they're scared, they're helpless, they're hurting, and they don't know what else to do. I fight the barrage of paperwork that comes with the job when I'd rather just sit and hold the hand of my dying patient. And I fight myself because there are days that I'd rather do anything but step foot in this building to endure the pain and heartache that comes with each day here. But fight I will each and every day. These people deserve nothing less. I'll fight to get them to eat and drink when they're too weak to hold their own cup. I'll fight to get them up and out of bed when all they want to do is sleep. I'll fight to get them to smile when that spark in their eyes is faded. I'll fight to get them to laugh when all they want to do is cry. I'll fight with them because these people are not just my residents. They're my friends and they're my family. And when the time comes that they can fight no more, I'll be there to hold their hand. I'll rub their back and I'll lightly brush the hair from their forehead. I'll read to them, sing to them, and pray with them. I'll ensure that they know without any hesitation that they're loved and that they've made a difference because they truly have. Each and every one of these people has taught me something. Something about who I am or who I strive to be. And I'm forever grateful to have had the opportunity to have been such a small part of each of their lives. Each of them has left a piece of themselves with me. And I carry those pieces into battle each and every day that I'm here. So if you'll please excuse me. I've got to go clock in. I've got a war to wage next to some of the best comrades that you could ever ask for.